think white actresses adopt African babies so that kids won't think it's weird that their mom is starving? <laughs> what do you guys think? They're very thin actresses. If I did accents, that joke would be so long. I would do the kid, and the kid would be like, there's so much food in this house. I don't do fucking, act. that's not even like an African act. I don't know what that is, but then I would do it and you guys would go crazy. I wouldn't even be in this room. I'd be in an arena right now if I did fucking accents. I'd be in a fucking, I'd be like in a, in a, in a stadium and I'd be like, oh, don't give blow jobs. And people would be like, oh my God, it's not how she really sounds. Like it'd be fucking, I voted for Hillary. I tried to do something right in this world, man. I voted for Hillary. I liked Hillary. I've liked Hillary since I was a kid. I also thought it'd be very exciting to see a 69-year-old woman get any job. I thought that would be a thrill. My mom's waiting to hear back from Barnes & Noble. She might get to wrap gifts during the holiday season. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I like Bernie too. I thought Bernie had a lot of good shit to say. I was like, yes! Very nice gentleman. I thought that Feel the Burn was a much better slogan than Rub the Clint. Um, so I was into that. I don't like Donald Trump. Uh, he's, he's a big uh, fucking dum dum and uh, big fucking dum dum. I don't think he understands. Oh, thank you. Oh, all right. Big fucking dum dum gets the clap. Work on punchlines, work on punchlines. Just say big fucking dum dum. Oh, all right. I guess. Nice, a big dum-dum. I don't think Donald Trump knows the meaning of the word consent. I don't, because I told him to use it in a sentence once when we were at Starbucks. I said, Donald Trump, can you use the word consent in a sentence? And he said, uh, can you believe that consent all those emails? And I was like, that is not even the right way to say that word. Yeah, big dum-dum. <laughs> I think I can solve like all of politics, by the way. I think I can like figure, I think if I ran for president, here'd be my thing, right? Abortions, too hard to get. Guns, too easy to get. Guess what, everybody? Switcheroo. Just swap how you get them, right? That's fucking, that'll solve everything. You want an abortion? You go to your nearest Walmart, guy in a red shirt it's like, oh, I can give you an abortion. You get an abortion, right? You want a gun? Well, you gotta find the last gun store left in the state. You gotta walk past like 500 people with pictures of gunshot wounds. And you gotta talk to a guy who went to school for 30 years and he tells you if you can have a gun. Solved. Smoke marijuana. Love marijuana. I do. It's great medicine. Uh, I thought I live in California, and I thought California had the best marijuana. I was like, not just the best marijuana, but the best access to marijuana, all that shit, right? You want marijuana, you get marijuana. Easy breezy. But you pay for it. Israel has the best marijuana. I was in California smoking California marijuana, watching a documentary about Israel. I figured all this out. Israel... The government gives you marijuana. You got a headache, the government's like, you need marijuana. You got cancer, the government's like, you get marijuana. There was a dude in his 90s, Holocaust survivor, right? Was having flashbacks. Couldn't fucking shake it. The government gave him marijuana. He felt great. I watched that. I was like, oh my God. Can you imagine being so high you forget the Holocaust. <laughs> That's amazing. I smoke like forget your Grubhub password weed. <laughs> and not Holocaust shit. Marijuana's fun, right? Anyone need to smoke weed? There should be a rule though, like, I feel like there should be a rule about marijuana where like, for a half hour after you smoke, no one should ever ask you for a favor. 
Thank you. <laughs>